Hey Leo, it's Goddess Puff, and this is your next 48 hours for May 6th to the 7th of 2022. All right, let's get started with an oracle card message for Leo. May 6th to the 7th of 2022 for Leo. May 6th to the 7th of 2022 for Leo. All right, we have Ren Awareness. And overall energy is bat direction. Okay. You're aware of someone coming in your direction or they are aware of you going towards them. It's something like that. But someone, someone's coming towards you. Let's get into the tarot on for Leo. Next 48 hours for Leo. May 6th to the 7th of 2022 for Leo. We have eight of swords, 41, which is a five. So yeah, someone's coming. I think you're aware of someone coming towards you. You're aware of this person's presence. With the eight of swords, someone's thinking about you heavily. We have the queen of wands, nine. And we have the king of, whoa, we have the king of wands, 32, which is a five. So we have five, nine, five. Um, the numbers I call out can be dates, times, ages. Put it where it goes for you. Overall energy is six of pentacles, 58, which is a 13 or a four. Equal give and take between you two. Okay, so you two are both aware of each other's um, presence. I feel like someone's obsessing over you or you're obsessing over them. I feel like you're in two minds. Yep, temperance, Sagittarius, justice. You and someone else are getting back together with the six of pentacles, fairness, equal give and take. Clarify this for Leo. Clarify this message for Leo. Last shuffle. Clarify this message for Leo. If you and someone are getting back together and it's going to be a very fair trade. You two are very aware of each other. You two are, it's like you're synchronistic. Like you're in sync. I mean, you two are in sync. Your thoughts, your actions, your movements. Clarifying the eight of swords. Is it a two of cups? Yeah, a soulmate. Seven of Pentacles. Someone's agreeing to invest a lot of time, energy, and effort into you. If they haven't already, even if they have before, they want to do, they want to invest another. So someone could be renewing their marriage license. I mean, not renewing their, not renewing your marriage license, renewing your vows. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you could be re renewing your vows to each other. And that could be metaphoric, but I do see you and your soulmate coming back together and agreeing to stay together for a long time. I feel like someone's very anxious about that. Clarifying the queen of wands is the four swords you are. You don't want to be bothered. You're blocking this person. I feel like you want to take a break. Yeah, the empress. They see you as the empress. This is Libra and Taurus energy as well. They see you as the empress. So, um, or you could see them that way. Put it where it goes for you. But someone here could possibly be pregnant or you two could have kids together. Clarifying the King of Wands is the King of Pentacles. So this person could have a lot of earth in their chart. Again, we do have Taurus with the Empress. Or this person could just be very financially stable or well off. Yep, Ace of Pentacles. This person wants to give you a promise of financial um, security. Yeah, they want to treat you like the Empress. Overall energies, the Knight of Swords, winning at all costs. Yep, this person wants you back. So you have a king of wands, a soulmate with the two of cups, either someone you have children with or someone who wants to have children with you. They're coming towards you to make an honest deal, an honest promise. They want to invest years into you. This is not someone who's just going to come and leave or just come into your life and go. But the seven of pentacles, that's someone who wants to invest years. This person is going to make a proposal to you, a very serious one. And this person is not the type to give up easily. I feel like this person wants to treat you with respect. I feel like this is a respectable person. This person is the type to make sure they have their priorities together before they approach someone. Like they want to make sure they have their job right, um, a place to stay. Like this person has very traditional values when it comes to relationship or a very strong towards placement. This person is making sure they have things to offer you gifts they want to take care of you they want to have kids with you they don't want you to want for anything they see you as the empress and yeah with the overall energy being the six of pentacles and nine of swords this person is very fair or they're approaching you that way and with the knight of swords as the overall energy i feel like 
this is not the first time they've done this. Because with the four swords here, I feel like you don't want nothing to do with them. And I'm surprised. I'm confused as to why. With the center of this ring being the four swords, you two may have taken a break. And that was completely up to you. You wanted to take the break. You did not want to be bothered. I feel like this person was not up to your standards and they realized that. And because of that, and for some of you, this person just felt like they were inadequate. So they left. And now you've, you got to block up towards them. You don't want to be bothered. But this person, the, your time apart, they went and got themselves together financially. And um, they went and got their mind together. I want to say it's like they conduct, they conduct themselves better. I feel like this person is more of a gentleman coming towards you now, more sophisticated, like they're just like more upstanding. I don't know what word to say. It's just like, I feel like they came at you very immature before. They did not have their priorities together and you, um, you took some time off from each other and now they have this ace of pentacles they want to give you a new stable again, beginning with abundance and i truly do see them being honest about that i see no tricks up their sleeve they're very um the only thing i'm seeing is they're overthinking this proposal because they are going to propose to you whether it be marriage for some of you or just asking you to come back into their life i do see a financial offering or physical offering or promise it's like this person is going to prove to you through small acts and also it's like because I'm literally seeing this person hand you something as proof that they've changed or that they have something to offer you now. And then they take you, like once you um agree, they take you out and they show you the car they have now and the home they have now saying they want to give it to you and share it with you. This person is showing you that they can and will take care of you for a very long time. And again, with the Six of Pentacles, this person is being very fair, especially with Temperance behind it, Sagittarius, Justice, the Star. Look at this. And they're clarified by the um, the King of Pentacles, the King of Wands, because we have the King and Queen of Wands here, so that's already a couple. And then you have the Two of Cups, Soulmate Energy. This person is clarified by the King of Pentacles with the Ace of Pentacles. It's like Spirit saying this person wants to take care of you. And they'll stop at nothing to do so. So, all right, let me get you your final message. Final message for Leo. Final message for Leo. All right, we have Cauldron. And the overall energy is snail. All right, so let me read what cauldron is and try to connect it to the read for you. Cauldron. Creativity, the rich broth, surprising yourself. I feel like that's this person. Yeah, you're not accepting anything less than you deserve. You see yourself as the empress too, which you are. And you feel as though you should be treated like royalty and you're not settling for less. I feel like you're surprising yourself by, because in the past you were very forgiving, but you're not anymore. Not even for the littlest thing. It's like you, this is just an example. I'm not saying that you're like this, but it's like if you prefer to be called the empress and this person says empress instead of the empress, you completely block them, turn them away. And you shun them. You don't pay them any mind. That's the type of energy you're on. You're like, I'm not accepting not even a little bit less. You're not giving any room for this person to mess up, not even a millimeter. <laughs> and this person knows that. And they're not, they're not doing that with themselves either. They're holding themselves just as accountable as you hold them. All right, overall energy snail, taking your time, the sacred fragility. Yep, with the four swords, you're like, I'm focused on my healing, my rest, my peace. With the four swords being the middle of this reading, clarifying you, the queen of wands, you don't want to be bothered. You don't have no time for foolishness. You're allowing this person to prove themselves, but you're not giving in. You're not giving anything. All right, I'm going to leave it there. If this reading resonated, don't forget to give me a like, comment, subscribe, or share. If you're interested in booking a personal reading with me, all of my information is in the description box below. If you would like to check out my sister's beautiful crystal jewelry, her Etsy is in the description box below as well. I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.